Well, today I'm checking out the Diamond Bolero in Tiger's Eye that is just absolutely breathtaking. It is a beautiful, like, caramel-looking top um, with some real cool features that I, that I want to explain. So the neck right off the bat is really thin. In fact, it feels almost identical to my new Les Paul Classic. Um, and if you're not familiar with that neck profile, it's definitely the uh, Slim Taper Gibson um, 60s style slim profile necks. Uh, if you're familiar with those, I would also consider it to be like some of the slightly thicker uh, Ibanez necks or the slim style Schechter necks. All of those will be in this kind of element. So what's interesting about that is it definitely has that kind of LP fill to it. I said feel, not fill. And uh, <laughs> and um, it's a slightly thinner body. Uh, when I say slightly thinner, it's thicker. It's thicker on the side. You know, it's the thickness is there, but on the side it tapers down, which is just really comfortable. Um, it's got two Seymour Duncan uh, pickups in it. I believe it's a, a JB and a 59. Now they're made in Korea and they're made in the World Manufacturing Factory. So basically side by side with the higher end Schecters, some of the higher end uh, LTDs, the uh, the PRSSEs that, uh, that are made in Korea, Chapman guitars, and uh, you know some other finer instruments that are made in there. I think Reverend is also made in that factory. Either way, um, I, if you've seen any of my videos, you know I have a really high opinion of that factory. And I'm, uh, I even collect guitars from that factory. It has a coil split right here on the tone control. It splits both pickups. You can't do it individually, but there you go. You're in single coil mode. So if you... Versus without it, we'll hit that down and we get the same lick. Oops. Yeah, it's just beefier versus that thinner. So cleans up nice. That's definitely what you expect Seymour Duncans to do. There's uh, another feature that's on the Seymour Duncans that is definitely rare. You very rarely see Seymour Duncan silk screen. The Seymour Duncan logos on the gold or chrome plated covers. And I noticed that uh, that's something that's done here. I'm sure Jeff Diamond requested that. I'm sure a lot of manufacturers request that, but you don't see it. I kind of really like it. Let you know right off the bat, you got that quality right there. Um, the hardtail um, bridge has this kind of diamond um, diamond and pressed piece. I really love this kind of really shapely cut in right here. Some some players are probably going to not like it because it kind of goes against the traditional feel. One thing I've always liked about this guitar, the first time I ever saw it, which is a couple years ago, when I first saw it, I thought, wow, that is a guitar that looks like something new and something old. Um, so I really dug that. <laughs> It needed a quick setup. It was not horrible by any means. I did not have to pull out any of my tools, <laughs> you know, no fret work or filing. Uh, in fact, just a small adjustment down on the bridge and a little relief on the truss rod. <laughs> You know, it has a very musical feel to it. Uh, when I was playing it, I just want to play, uh, which is, you know, what you want in a guitar. And I want to thank you guys, as always, for your time and know your gear. Thank mm -hmm. you.